Clinical research is a vast and essential branch of healthcare science that determines the safety, effectiveness, and understanding of medications, devices, diagnostic products, and treatment regimens intended for human use. A critical component of clinical research is non-interventional studies, a field that often does not get as much attention as clinical trials, but is equally important. Welcome to the GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Let us start with understanding non-interventional studies. Non-interventional studies are observational studies where the medical product is prescribed in the usual manner in accordance with the terms of the marketing authorization. The assignment of the patient to a particular therapeutic strategy is not decided in advance by a trial protocol, but falls within current practice. Importantly, the decision to prescribe the medication is clearly separated from the decision to include the patient in the study. The key differences between non-interventional studies and clinical trials lie in their design and purpose. Clinical trials are interventional studies that involve randomization, blinding, and a control group to test the efficacy and safety of an intervention. In contrast, Non-interventional studies are designed to observe outcomes under routine conditions without manipulating or controlling the setting or subjects. What is the role of regulatory affairs in non-interventional studies? Regulatory affairs is a critical function in safeguarding public health in relation to medicinal and health products. It ensures efficacy and safety by regulating manufacturers' compliance with legislation and guidelines. In non-interventional studies, Regulatory affairs play an essential role in ensuring that these studies comply with relevant local and international regulations. And what about EU regulations on non-interventional studies? The European Union has stringent regulations for medical research, including non-interventional studies. These regulations impact various aspects of non-interventional studies, including how they are designed, conducted, recorded, and reported. These regulations ensure that data collected from non-interventional studies are reliable and protect the rights, safety, and well-being of patients. Let us take a look at non-interventional studies in different fields. Non-interventional studies are extensively used in various fields such as pharmaceuticals and medical devices. In pharmaceuticals, they are often conducted to understand the effectiveness, safety, and usage patterns of a drug in real-world settings. In the field of medical devices, non-interventional studies can provide valuable insights into device performance, usage, and safety outside controlled clinical trial environments. And what about ethics committees and non-interventional studies? Ethics committees play a pivotal role in non-interventional studies by ensuring that studies are conducted ethically and participants' rights, safety, and well-being are protected. They review study protocols, informed consent forms, and other related documents to ensure adherence to ethical principles. Let us now have a look at post-market surveillance and non-interventional studies. Post-market surveillance refers to the monitoring of drugs or medical devices after they have been released on the market. Non-interventional studies play a crucial role in post-market surveillance as they provide real-world data about product usage and potential adverse events. This data is crucial for identifying rare side effects, long-term effects, and population-specific responses. Let us have a look at non-interventional studies as marketing tools. Non-interventional studies can also serve as effective marketing tools by providing real-world evidence of a product's effectiveness and safety. This data can be used to inform healthcare providers, patients, and payers about the product's benefits in real-world conditions which can strengthen its market position. What about statistical planning and competent authorities in non-interventional studies? Statistical planning is vital in non-interventional studies to ensure that the study has sufficient power to detect meaningful differences or associations. Competent authorities oversee the conduct of non-interventional studies to ensure their compliance with regulations and standards. Let us have a look at conditional approval and non-interventional studies. Conditional approval is a term used for the approval of a medicine that fulfills an unmet medical need for a serious condition based on less comprehensive data than normally required. Non-interventional studies can play a vital role in gathering the additional data required for full approval. In essence, 
Non-interventional studies are an integral part of clinical research, providing invaluable insights into the real-world performance of medical products. For beginners in this field, understanding non-interventional studies is a crucial step towards a comprehensive knowledge of clinical research. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research.